right, guys, we're going to go over how to take the derivative today. We're learning the basic power rule. And first problem was x cubed. So to take the derivative, all you do is bring the exponent out in front, leave the base the same, and raise the power to one less degree. So you minus 1 to the power. So that's the answer, 3x squared. That's the shortcut. Okay. Going on to number 2, if you have a constant in front, you do the same thing. You bring the power in front. Multiply it with the constant already there, so you get 15. And you drop the power by one degree, so you get 15 x to the fourth. Okay? If you have a term that isn't raised to a power already, you can write the square root of x as x to the one half. Okay? So you want to write it as a power first, and then use the same power rule. Bring the exponent out in front, keep the base the same, raise it to one less degree, which would be negative a half. And of course, we don't leave negative exponents in our answer, so we bring x to the 1 half down, and it becomes the square root of x on the bottom. Okay, is it really that easy? Yes, it is. James, James, wake up. Pull the power out and throw it up in front. Keep the inside the same, and we're halfway done. Now lower the degree by one, and we'll be awfully close. Times the root of the inside, and that's how it goes. I left the class and took a stroll. Got a Saturday school from Hall Patrol. All right, back to the class. Where my calculator is valued over 300,000. On the pro and second primes, so just say please. Give me a pencil, and I'll show you some double D's. I can teach some more, but we have to go fast. I want you to take time at home, but be quick in class, you say. Yeah, yeah, derivatives are really useful. Yeah, yeah, because they are the slope of the tangent line. Yeah, yeah, position prime gives the velocity. Yeah, yeah, and velocity prime is acceleration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take that and rewind it back. Now you know how to do basic derivation. Take that and rewind it back. Now you know how to do the product rule. Take that and rewind it back. Now you know how to derive with the quotient rule. 
Take that and rewind it back. Now you know how to drive with the chain rule.